Okay, Valentine's celebrations usually send couples to restaurants, and maybe you should check out Perry's Steakhouse this Valentine's Day. Their corporate sommelier, which means wine expert, uh, Susie Zivanovic, is here to share a new trend in wine. We're talking about dessert wines and fortified wines, and you know, what desserts and maybe appetizers they go well with. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Thank and you. And you know what, I'm just speaking for myself. I know I've heard dessert wine, but talk about what they are and, and fortified wines as well. Right, well we're seeing a really big resurgence in dessert wines, 28% more menu mentions in the past year on dessert wines. And what we have here actually is a really wide range of dessert wines. And we actually have a cocktail, which is a very innovative thing that we've done at Perry's. Mm -hmm. We have our Passionate for Port, where we're taking aged port wine and making a cocktail out of it. And we're pairing that with our one of our ap most popular appetizers. And, and really quickly, why the dessert wines and fortified wines over just my regular Chardonnay table wines? Right, this is a great way to end a meal. And we're, we like to really just serve these by the glass. And you can either pair it with dessert or have it as dessert if you're too full. Our, our, our menu tends to be, you know, we have steak and people are full. So you're still craving that sweet. And if you don't want the dessert, you can just have the dessert wine all on its own. And uh, contrary to what we thought, Mickey and I, you know, we were like, oh, that's lightweight wine, you know? Mm -hmm. no, <laughs> actually, <not> <laughs> no, actually, these are fortified with brandy and uh, late harvest. So they're actually higher in, in alcohol. Most mm -hmm. are about 19% in alcohol, so right. they are quite high in alcohol. So that means you just do need just a little bit. So let's talk about more about what I will not be drinking for <laughs> Valentine's Day. What, what they go well with, um, starting with, this is a fortified wine here. Yeah, so this is a fortified wine cocktail um, called Passionate for Port. It's a brand new cocktail on our menu, mm -hmm. and it's paired with our uh, famous beef and blue, which is our prime beef which is topped with blue cheese and it has a beautiful onion marmalade on the bottom. So delicious. Okay. And, and we're saying folks, you know, you, you're done with your meal. Now it's time for dessert. You need to order these pa uh, this wine to go with certain desserts. Yes. Keep, yeah, talk so about what you got here. When we have a bread pudding, this is Perry's famous bread pudding. Um, this we've paired with Otama 20 year tawny port. And the history of Portugal wines really is based on um, port wine. And they're fortified, and uh, this one is aged in barrel, so you get this really nutty flavor, and it mm. pairs beautifully with this uh, dessert. That sounds about right. Mm -hmm. And then what do we have here? This is our creme brulee, and this is uh, Tokai, which has been made since the 1500s in Hungary. It's actually been a wine that's been gifted to royalty for many centuries. It was the favorite wine of Napoleon, and um, it was gifted to him. Mm -hmm. It pairs beautifully with creamy desserts. So this is the creme brulee that's topped with uh, a caramelized sugar. And then this one? This is something I would actually recommend even on its own. Uh, Madeira was one of the wines that we used to um, sign the Declaration of Independence and the um, when George Washington was inaugurated. This okay. was the most popular wine at the time. So it's really <clears throat> re seeing a resurgence in our history, which is wonderful to bring it back. Well, all of this looks very good, and I, I'm sure you'll be, uh, well, the waitresses and waiters may be answering a lot of questions yes. uh, on Valentine's Day. And just from this point on, as more and more people are uh, think of, thinking about dessert wines and yes. fortified wines. absolutely. All right, I'm sure it tastes really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it does. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Thank Susie. Thank you for having us. We're